just celebrate this great, wonderful day for Tim and Alex. And the people that are from Wisconsin, thank God the weather cooperated. <laughs> the last two days, my wife and I just sat there and looked out the window and thought, oh my God. Um, never thought this would actually happen in our backyard. Um, Alex said there's no way it's going to happen in our backyard. <laughs> But here we are, honey. It's crazy. Um, <laughs> all right, so a quick disclaimer. The over-under on me staying composed throughout that speech, <laughs> this speech, according to my friends and family, is decidedly not in my favor. <laughs> but I'm holding out hope. Um, while I'm composed, I do want to recognize one person, and that's Tanya. Um, <laughs> we have great kids, and that's because of you. Um, in them, I see the love, guidance, care and inspiration you provide all of them and most i see it in alex so i could go further but those odds i just talked about <laughs> will get a lot worse so i'm not i'm only wow. going to say this that was like a double. thank you i love you with all my heart Aww. all right so this is a big day Obviously a big day for Alex and Tim. Also a big day for Sue and Jude, Tanya and me. You hear stories or watch movies about the angst the father of a bride, a new bride goes through, especially the first one. Um, I can pinpoint, pinpoint when that happened for me. Alex was three years old. <laughs> I was pushing her in a stroller to a park we used to go to two or three times a week. We get to the entrance of the park. Entrance, we're not in the park. And it's a huge park. Um, Alex jumps out of the stroller, looks at me and goes, okay, you wait here. I got this. Yeah. Um, I went home later that day and I said to Tanya, you, you will not believe what happened today. She's three years old and she's already trying to get rid of me. <laughs> well, needless to say, I went into the park, sat quietly, and just made sure you were safe. Since then, I've quietly, and not so quietly, <laughs> sat by and watched you grow into just a beautiful young woman, both inside and out. If you cry, you have to look away. <laughs> A few other things I think about when I think of Alex and the woman she is. Just different things. I could come up with a ton, but I'm not going to do that to you guys. Um, when she was four, just about to be five, um, going over to Tanya's um, parents' house, and her baba, her grandma, um, was really ill at that point in time. And Alex walked in, sat on the couch, just held her hand. Around the same time, the kids start pounding on the door, the neighborhood kids. And uh, it was always a big deal when Alex came over. And um, they said, can Alex come play? I was like, yeah, I'll go get her. So I walked back in, I was like, yeah, your friends are here, you wanna go play? And this describes her through and through. She looked at me, still holding Bubba's hand, and went, Dad, tell him I can't play. I want to stay right here. Um, which blew me away. 
other things. Wait, now I'm losing my train of thought. That was, it's because I'm trying to stay composed. <laughs> <laughs> um, watching Alex at the age of seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You guys all get the picture. Um, patiently loving and caretaking for all of her siblings as they quickly outnumbered her parents. Um, <laughs> There's always been a lot of weight on that girl's shoulders, and she's handled it pretty well. And then I remember moving here. We'd lived here for about 60 days. She had been in school, I know, for less than 30. And I left school. Oh, okay. Um, I left work to come home to celebrate her birthday. So I come home, and there's 15 to 20 girls. And keep in mind, she'd been in school for less than 30 days. There's 15 and 20 girls in our house preparing to throw her a surprise party for her 13th birthday. Um, I said to her after the party, how on earth have you possibly met so many people so soon? And she looked at me and went, well, you move so much. I've gotten really good at meeting new people. <laughs> Well, that said out, you've grown to be a resilient, strong, confident, loving, and caring young woman. Um, caring not just for the people, well, definitely for the people you love, but in general, the people around you. Um, Alex often says to her students in school, be a good human. You're a good human. And I'm very, very proud of I need some water for this. <laughs> First and foremost, Sue, Jude, thank you for raising such a wonderful, wonderful young man. <laughs> the first adjective I think of when I think of Tim, competitive. <laughs> Play the guy in yard games, and you'll find out. He thinks he's being discreet, but you aren't, Tim. <laughs> Tim wants to win. And as a result, I think my record in this backyard versus Tim is about 4 and 96. <laughs> I'd also describe you, Tim, as goal-oriented, driven, just super focused. That's why you've accomplished so much as such a young man. And got to say, loving, caring, and really, really generous. The best example I have for Tim and his generous and giving nature, the amount of time Tim takes to give a loved one or a friend the effort, the thought, the everything, the perfect gift, is absolutely mind-blowing to me. Anyone here who has ever received a gift from Tim, or anyone that ever will receive a gift from Tim, the thought behind it is more important than the gift, because it's outstanding. So I mentioned my record of 496 precious gifts. The one time I decidedly had the upper, van, up, upper hand on Tim, was the day he asked for Allie's hand in marriage. <laughs> I know the date and time, but I'm not going to say it. Um, so he asked, and my actual first response was, wait a second, how long have you two even dated? <laughs> yeah. And then after that awkward moment that I created for poor Tim and myself, <laughs> I, did, I did give my approval. <laughs> yeah, but then my second response to Tim's second question, or no, your demand, 
Uh, <laughs> like, wait a second, Tim. I can't tell Tanya about this for a week or a week and a half? I don't know if you know much about marriage, but keeping <laughs> secrets from your wife is not a good harbinger for a successful marriage, Tim. <laughs> Now, I did keep the secret, and thank you very much, Tim. I took some serious heat for a lady. <laughs> and thankful it all blew up on me while I was on vacation, so that was great. <laughs> um, who knew, Tim? The asking part was easy. What God threw at you guys next was truly unexpected. A pandemic. Two canceled wedding venues. A birth certificate scared this week. <laughs> yeah. We almost had to fake it. Um, a health scare for Tim, for Alex, and for God's sake, even their dog, Stella. It is true. Um, you guys handled it all with just love for each other compassion for each other and the utmost grace and you should be really really proud of how you just leaped over every hurdle God threw your way so here's the good news Tim you win again <laughs> best news is, you win too well. You're marrying a great, great guy. So, to be, use the words of a three-year-old girl sitting in the entrance of a park, I propose a toast. Alex, Tim, you two got this. Wow.